Hi guys, it's Couponing Stacy here and this is my CVS haul for today, which is August 21st, 2016. We have some awesome money maker deals going on this week that I am really excited about. I have not received my inserts for today. I ordered them on Instagram. Um, they were supposed to arrive yesterday. I don't know what was up with the postal service, but I never got them. So I couldn't do the wet and wild deal. There are two different wet and wild deals going on. One is for just their nail polish or eyeliner or lipsticks that are 99 cents. They're buy one, get one free this week. And we have 50 cent off of one coupons from today's smart source. So you use two of those and they will both be free. Or you can get the concealer sticks that are $1.99, buy one, get one free. And we have dollar off of one face products in today's smart source. And those will both be free also. So you can do both deals if you're getting at least two inserts. And there's no limit on that since it's not an extra care book deal. So use as many coupons as you have for that deal. Um, for everything you see here, I had a subtotal of $2.21. I paid $2.73 in tax, so my out-of-pocket for this week was $4.94. I did roll $18.49 in extra care bucks, and I got back $24 in extra care bucks, so that instantly made it a $3.30 moneymaker. However, I will be submitting for a $2 checkout 51 rebate, so my net cost will end up being a $5.30 moneymaker week for me, so that is pretty awesome right there. You can do the deals differently and have it even more of a money maker because these right here are such big money makers. Um, these are the CVS five minute whitening gel kits. At my store they were $6.29. That price varies. My store in the neighborhood had them for $6.39, but they were out of them. So your pricing is going to vary a little bit, but they're giving back a $10 extra care buck. So you just buy one um, pay with whatever extra care bucks you have and then get back and send our extra care bucks. So it is a money maker instantly. It is almost a $4 money maker, just under depending on your price. And there is a limit of two on this deal. I did them separately. I did it in two different transactions on one card because it is a limit of two. But um, if you, you can do it at once if you would like. You're going to get a $20 extra care buck. I would rather have two $10 extra care bucks personally. So I separated them. But if you are okay with having a $20 extra care buck, then you can definitely do them both in one transaction. Then I did the Floss Picks. These are on sale this week for $1.99 and you're going to get a, back a dollar extra care buck. It is a limit of two. I had a personalized coupon for a dollar off of CVS floss picks. So I paid 99 cents and I got back the dollar extra care buck. So it made this completely free. Then I did the super easy Kashi deal. These are on sale for a dollar this week. We have a dollar off of one Kashi product from the Red Plum 87. It does include the single bars because these are the 1.59 ounce and that is the smallest size you can get with that coupon. So they are completely free. I had four of those coupons and then I had two of the dollar off of one CVS printable coupon. Um, so I picked up the two more. With the printable coupons, um, the CVS ones, you can only use one per transaction. The second one will beep. So just know that and separate them if you're planning to do more than one CVS printable coupon. This deal, um, it was an okay deal. I kind of almost wish I hadn't done it, but I did and it'll be okay. These are $1.27 regular price. I had a personalized coupon for $2 off of CVS panty liners. I was experimenting and seeing if I could use that $2 off coupon on one. It was not working, so I picked up two and um, they still had to push it through. I think it was maybe intended to use on a higher count, but there was no size restrictions on it. So these ended up being $0.27 cents a piece, which isn't a terrible deal, but I don't know. I might have skipped it otherwise. Then the last deal I did was on the Paper Mate pencils. These are the five count mechanical pencils. They are on sale this week for 99 cents. We have the 55 cent off of one coupon from the Smart Source 731. There is a limit of two on this deal. You buy one, you're gonna get back a 50 cent extra care buck. Limit of two. So I bought two and paid 88 cents, got back a dollar extra care buck. So it was a small mini maker and I did two per card. 
Then one of the awesome deals this week is on the Arm & Hammer detergent. These are on sale this week for $1.99. You will pay the $1.99 and you can submit for the Checkout 51 rebate for a dollar back. The rebate is only for the sensitive skin free ones, so make sure you're getting the sensitive skin free kind if you're trying to do the rebate. Um, so yeah, $0.99 cents for a bottle of laundry detergent is my stock up price. Um, I do $0.99 cents or below. So yeah, definitely worth getting. And then the very last deal I did is on the milk. The milk is definitely gonna vary by region. I usually don't include this, but I thought I would today. So the milk in my area was on sale this week for $1.99. I had a 50 cent off of one personalized CVS coupon. So the brought it down to $1.49. I used $1.49 in extra care bucks, just paid tax. But I also got back the dollar extra care bucks. So the net cost for the milk was 49 cents which is a super, super awesome deal for milk. So if you are in the Chicago area, your milk is gonna be the same price. And if you have that personalized coupon, it is an awesome deal. I always get my milk at CVS. I found at least for my area, getting back that dollar extra care buck every week, it makes the milk the cheapest usually in the entire area. I know sometimes my milk is more like 249 or 269, but still with that extra care buck back, it's like $1.49 to $1.69 for milk, which is an awesome deal. So I always recommend getting your milk at CVS because of the extra care bucks. That is everything I have for you guys this week though. I know some of you guys are gonna comment and say that I seem sad because you guys know me really well. I didn't wanna say this at the beginning, I just wanted to get to the deals. But I am a little sad today if you noticed. Um, it's not a big deal, it's not something you guys need to like show sympathy about, I just wanted to mention it. So yeah, this morning I, um, I went out to my car to find out that it had been broken into. Not, like the windows weren't shattered or anything, but I'm really good about locking my car. And this is the second time in about a month, maybe two months that it's been broken into. And the first time nothing was stolen. Um, just my little like center storage area had been rummaged through. But today things were stolen. Um, so that was how I started my morning before I went to CVS. I had to file a police report. The GPS out of my glove box was stolen. They stole my auxiliary cord to plug in my phone. They stole change out of like the little change storage by the steering wheel. They stole a like tire pump to inflate our car tires out of our trunk. They rummaged through everything. Everything was torn up. I had a bag of clothes that I was planning to donate in the back seat. Those clothes are all over the place. Like everything had clearly been just rummaged through. Like my owner manual for the car was in my passenger seat. Everything was, it was in bad shape. And so I'm just, I'm not like sad about things being stolen. Like things can be replaced. I have a file, like a police report filed and everything. And we honestly didn't really use that GPS that much. I think we're most upset about the car pump and, and then the auxiliary cord. I mean, the auxiliary cord will be cheap to replace. The car pump was like a $50 pump that we had. So my husband and I are a little more upset about that one than anything. But I think more than anything, we just kind of feel violated. Like, you know, if you park your car on the street, you expect it to be okay. Um, the first time they, the police tried to convince me that I probably left my car unlocked, and sure, maybe I did, but I'm really good about locking my car. I don't think I left it unlocked twice. I, I'm convinced they're picking the locks, even though I was told that they don't pick the locks because I don't leave my car unlocked, so I don't know why this would be happening so often. I lock my car, I make it beep to make sure that it's locked, so I don't know, I'm just so upset about that. And so my husband and I are planning to move out ASAP and get out of the area that we're in because we think where we live is the problem and we're hopefully going to find a place with a parking garage and uh, we haven't technically renewed our lease. Our lease was supposed to renew August 1st but um, even if we were under a lease we were going to break the lease because it's not worth living here for another year to be dealing with this so I'm just upset about that if I seemed unhappy in this video. I know normally I'm very cheerful. I'm usually really excited about my CVS deals and I just, my heart's not in it today. I still did my shopping because I wanted to make sure I got these before they sold out. I mean, at least I got two of them, but that was really what I wanted to do today. So yeah, I'll be back to my normal bubbly self next week. Things might be a little hectic on my end because um, I had been telling you guys in a couple videos a few months past that my husband and I were thinking about moving and we decided to stay here, but now we're going to 
move like as quickly as we can get out of here as soon as we can find an apartment to get out so it's gonna be a little hectic for me probably over the next few weeks assuming we do find an apartment but we don't want to live here anymore it's not worth it I mean I don't want to move especially quickly because we have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to pack up and move somewhere else even if we're moving not that far but I mean you got to do what you got to do I'd rather stay safe than stay here and not want to deal with the hassle of moving so that'll be happening that's what's happening over here I thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red link down below I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later bye